projects they wanted to do for Bemi. They found out what was these trees that were now around the parking lot of the Chinese Baptist Church. From an acorn brought to Canada from Vimy, France some 100 years ago to a sapling from a tree grown from one of those original acorns now planted near the gravesite of Lieutenant Colonel Thane Wendell McDowell, a veteran of the Battle of Vimy Ridge. McDowell's family, along with local dignitaries, members of the local legion and brothel rifles were on hand on Saturday morning at Oakland Cemetery for the Vimy Oak Tree Dedication. McDowell, who was the only Victoria Cross winner from Brockville and one of the few in, in Canada, um, was a li very likely candidate to have a memorial planted near his grave. The Battle of Vimy Ridge remains, as I said, a key moment in Canadian history and the planting today, a hundred years later, will help us to continue remembering the sacrifice that has been made for our freedom. One of only four Canadians to win the Victoria Cross at Vimy, McDowell was the only one to survive the battle. In 1917, after the Battle of Vimy Ridge, Leslie Miller, a 28-year-old soldier from Milliken, Ontario, searched the battle-damaged ridge for a souvenir of the historic battle. With not much left after the battle, he managed to find a half-buried oak tree on the ridge and pick up a number of acorns. Back in Canada, he planted the acorns at his farm outside of Toronto, calling the property the Vimy Oaks Farm. Over the years, the farm was taken over by the ever-expanding area of Scarborough. It was decided that the McDowell grave would be a fitting place for one of the Vimy Oak saplings. One of the projects they wanted to do for Vimy, they found out that there's these trees that were now around the parking lot of the Chinese Baptist Church in Toronto. So they, they did uh, part cuttings and part um, acorns and grafted them and planted them to create 300 trees. Uh, the, the original idea was these trees were going to uh, go back to Vimy Ridge and get planted on Vimy Ridge where they came from. And they left a few of them available for, uh, for planning in Canada for special memorial, special locations, and uh, I managed to acquire one. McDowell was one of four brothers from Maitland who were renowned for their war exploits. At the gravesite ceremony on Saturday, Charles Dumbrell of Vancouver, great nephew of Thane McDowell, recounted his famous ancestor's battlefield heroism. I saw the two runners go down this hole, uh, turn to uh, his two <coughs> runners and said, you guys stay up here. And he went down this hole that was 75 steps, turned the corner, and there were 75 Prussian guards, two officers and two machine and the two machine guns that he had, uh, but the, there were 77 uh, Prussians in this room. He quickly turned over his shoulder as if he had his whole company uh, up above uh, on the surface and uh, said, we've got him. And uh, they believed his fib and he uh, was able to have them all give up their arms and he divided them into groups of 10 or 12 at a time and they all came up unarmed and McDowell died at the age of 69 in 1960. The upper hall at the Royal Canadian Legion Branch Number 96 in Brockville is named after him. You have given it to grace this holy place and to serve as a memorial to the sacrifice of those who served God, King and Canada at Vimy in the Great War and in particular of Lieutenant Colonel Thane McDowell Victoria Cross Distinguished Service Order. May this tree be a source of healing and blessing to all. For Hometown TV 12 News, Dale Elliott in Brockville.